So let's satisfy the re prerequisites to install an S3. First, we need to check that the Mercurial tool is installed it, by using the command HT. As we can see, we cannot uh, access it. We, we don't have it. So we'll do sudo apt-get install Mercurial. We paste that. And this will download it from the repository. We'll enter our password. And it will download. We hit yes, Y, and Mercurial will be downloaded. Now that Mercurial is downloaded, let's use it to get the files from NS3 website. This will download the tool called Bake Tool, which we will use to download NS3 installation files. This tool requires Python, so let's make sure we'll, we should make sure that we have Python installed in our, on our computer on our Ubuntu before we proceed. Now let's go into the bake directory and see the scripts we have. It's Python script and we'll run bake.py. No pun intended. And we'll run it with check. So we'll type bake.py space check. So we'll check the environment to see what we need to install for NS3 to be downloaded. Well, we don't have the C++ compiler. We do not have CVS, JIT, Bazaar, Unrar, 7-zip, and all these programs. Uh, we need to download uh, using apt-get from the repositories. As we can see, G++, which is the C++ compiler, is not there, but the GCC is there. OK. Now, here, we could just uh, type the command or copy it and uh, just paste it on the terminal uh, in one step so that it'll take care of all these components. Uh, all these packages will be downloaded at once and their dependencies. So we just do apt-get and we missed all of these missing library uh, packages and you just, you know, it's a big download so make sure you have good internet and uh, you hit yes and uh, it'll download like 100 three megabytes uh, sorry it will take 103 megabytes of your disk space and, and it will download 32 megabytes of data anyways once that once that thing is done let's run bake check again so when we run bake check again we'll see that all is okay and now we can go ahead and download uh, ns3 using the bake tool Now we are ready to configure the bake tool and we need to configure it so that it knows which module we want. Uh, we want to install the latest uh, NS3 so we do bake tool configure dash E and then we'll choose NS3.26. What this does is that it creates an XML file of uh, that helps the bake tool to download what it needs to download. We hit enter here and nothing happened, but if we list them by timestamp, we can see this is the last file created. If we look into it, we'll find that it has like, information on how to download, what to download, stuff like that. And it has like a link to 3.26. And if we configure it for 3.5, it will be downloading 3.5. And uh, 3.6 is the one we want to work with. It's the latest as of October 2016. Now let's uh, basically show what has been configured. So this is what we configured. So this is the things that are enabled. And so now let's install the missing libraries. Qt4 dash div dash tools is how we do Qt. Don't do Qt5. Qt5 will get you into uh, you'll get into problems. It's not that compatible. For the Python tool. The, the component name is python dash pygon viz and uh, you know python dash uh, viz and uh, we already have those installed and python dash setup tools this will go ahead and install the necessary libraries now we're done 
and we'll go ahead and uh, there we have everything ready uh, let's do show and as we can see everything is all the components are there so we're good so uh, we go ahead and use the bake tool to download and deploy the product the ns3 and uh, this takes some time i just fast forward through it and now we have ns3 2.6 installed on this ubuntu machine we can now run our script and we can uh, do the visualization and everything we'll go into the, the bake directory we go into the source that's where my ns3 would be and uh, so source ns3.2.6 there's the waf tool let's uh, clear this for clarity and let's run waf configure and uh, WAF configure is we have to run it the first time we build uh, NS3. And as we can see here, we have the PyViz visualizer enabled, which we want. And we have Python binding, which are needed for Py PyViz. And now we have good working NS3 with that supports visualization uh, with the Python viz. So yeah, you're ready to go. Thank you.